Welcome to JSA TV, where we're covering the latest news, trends, and innovations from thought leaders like my friend Chris Downey over here in the digital infrastructure space. And we are coming to you live. That's right. We are live, Chris, um, from PTC 2025 in beautiful Honolulu, Hawaii. And I think I got it all in. It's a lot warmer here than it is in Chicago, where I'm headed back tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not looking forward to going home just because. It's great to be in Hawaii, but yeah, it's yeah. also you know, like and eight where's degrees. where's home to you, Chris? Uh, New Jersey. Jer okay, yeah. So you you get it, you yes. get it. Yeah, yeah. So um, okay. So JSA TV viewers, we're about to go. We're about to boldly go where no one has gone on JSA TV before, and that is data centers in space. Chris, <laughs> what's going on? You made an announcement this morning um, when Courtney told me, or producer Courtney told me uh, what was going on here. Um, I could not wait to get you in front of the camera. Data yeah, centers no, in space, no, what's going fantastic. on? And uh, so we, we announced this morning uh, a partnership with Lone Star Data Holdings, who's mm -hmm. going to deploy data center infrastructure on the moon. So <laughs> sounds pretty far. You heard him correctly. Yeah. Data center infrastructure on the moon. Uh, it sounds very far-fetched, but, you know, there's a lot of infrastructure in space that helps us really go about our daily mm -hmm. lives, whether it's, you know, uh, our phones or, um, you know, our communications on planes mm -hmm. and, you know, it goes far beyond that. So what Lone Star um, is going to pioneer is not necessarily, you know, a new frontier, if you will. Yes, mm -hmm. the moon is a new frontier, but, you know, there's a lot of activity going on in space. And, and for us, you know, we're really the terrestrial support for what Lone Star is doing to make mm -hmm. sure that they, you know, they, they have, they, they, they focus, on, focus on their mission control while we're managing or keeping uh, their infrastructure as resilient it needs to be to support what they're going to be doing uh, in space. So why is data storage in space or on the moon important? Yeah, I mean, first of all, there's more data being created every day than ever before. It's, We're creating know, some right now, I think. Yeah, yeah you and I on the camera. Yeah, yeah sure. absolutely. Yeah. And especially with AI, that's just going to accelerate. Yeah. So the amount of data, you know, and that data lives forever. So it needs to have a home. So, you know, clearly there's alternatives for that uh, terrestrially. But um, what what being on the moon offers or, or storing information in space is, is really um, there's no sovereignty, you know, data sovereignty issues. Um, yeah. And so um, it can be stored there without uh, fear of violating, you know, so data sovereignty, which is which is just fascinating to me. Um, but and 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 this isn't this isn't a uh, a low latency play. There, we don't need anything like that. We need to get it there and get it stored safely and sovereignly. Yeah, no, there's no, um, you know, it's not latency dependent. Yeah, but, yeah. You know, clearly. Um, you know, it, there'll be large scale, you know, data there it, mm -hmm. when it needs to be retrieved, it, you know, it will be retrieved, but it's not going to be something that's needed like instantaneously because yes. we're demanding it from our phone or something like yes. that. Yeah. And so the, the, the partnership, tell us maybe a little bit about that, how that came to be, why they chose you. Well, um, it makes you know, sense to me. Oh, by the way, I don't, Chris, <laughs> sorry, Chris is the CEO. Of, that's right. We've got that part. <laughs> the CEO of Flexential. Uh, Chris, welcome to JSA TV. <laughs> Yeah, so Flex Central, uh, we run a large-scale data center platform in, in the U.S. Uh, we we also have a, a, a network backbone that ties all that together. So yeah. we federate across our platform, meaning we federate data across our platform, mm -hmm. but we also federate to um, uh, uh, carrier hotels mm -hmm. where that data mm -hmm. can be feder federated anywhere it needs to go um, globally. Um, and so the partnership arose because we've actually done a a lot with space-based yeah. ventures. Right. So I can mention a few, but you know, I think people have heard of Viasat yep. and, and GoGo uh, mm -hmm. Wireless, yep. and those are just two examples, but there's many more where we're, you know, supporting things from a terrestrial perspective while they're enabling, you know, um, a capability or an application, yeah. um, you know, be it our phones or otherwise. And I, and I think what also has enabled this partnership, but it's really, um, uh, a related party, if you will, yeah. the uh, um, you know the the data center infrastructure will go up on the SpaceX rocket, and you know ultimately SpaceX has revolutionized the ability to put infrastructure in space yeah. and ultimately get things uh, on the moon to support things like uh, what Lone Star is doing. Yeah, no, it's, it's it's fascinating to me because none of that happens without the infrastructure 
that we have here without your infrastructure. Yes, yeah. that, that that's correct. And and I mentioned the network because mm-hmm. the data has to go to where it's you know being demanded, if you will. And so the ability for us, one, uh, they picked Tampa, they, our Tampa facility, given its proximity to the, to the, uh, the Florida Space Coast, yeah. um, but also because we can federate that data really anywhere and everywhere it needs to go. Outstanding. I feel like there's probably a million other things that we could be discussing uh, this morning with you, Chris. Um, I know, uh, how's the show going for you? It's great. Um, you know, always fantastic to be here at PTC. It's my 15th year. But one of the one of my observations is that I've seen a lot of people um, that I see at other industry conferences yeah. where they said it's their first time here at PTC. Myself included. Yeah. yeah which just means that uh, I think PTC is, you know, we I've always recognized the value of PTC. Yeah. Um, uh, we, we do a lot on really on the commercial front for Flexential mm-hmm. here, but um, ultimately, um, I believe there's recognition of the value that PTC brings to uh, many, many industries because there's many industries represented here. Yeah, it truly does feel like the the official kickoff of the new year. That's right. Yeah, yeah. pretty much. Yeah. And it's always great to kick off the new year in Hawaii, right? <laughs> yeah, I can't, I can't complain. Um yeah, I mean, I probably my wife is complaining right now. She actually wrote me um, earlier to say that the toilets froze on the her flight, and so they had to land, and she's stranded in Denver right now. Okay. <laughs> anyway, on that note, Chris, <laughs> uh, uh, data centers and space, an amazing conversation. I can't wait to talk to you more about this as things kind of begin to develop over over time. Um, so thanks for being here. Yeah, always great to be be here and talk with you. Thanks. Awesome. Thank you, Chris. And thank you viewers for watching JSA TV. Stay curious, stay connected, even if it's on the moon, and we'll see you soon.